Welcome back to Cooking with Henna So, and we are kicking off our 25 days of cookness. And video number one is dedicated to one of my childhood favorites, Milo. So let's jump right in and get started. So the key to making the best and juiciest meatloaf is to use the leanest meat you can find. Go figure, huh? <laughs> so we're going to be using 85% lean and above of our ground meat, no matter if you're using ground beef or ground turkey. Then you're going to finally chop up some onions, add your eggs and all of your herbs and spices. And don't worry, as always, the full list of ingredients and the recipe is going to be listed below in the description box. Add in your ketchup, your Worcestershire sauce, your breadcrumbs, and then your milk for moisture, and then get to mixing. Now, the key is to make sure you do not overmix. It will change the texture of your meatloaf, but you do want to make sure that everything is well combined. Then we're going to pull out our favorite loaf pan or baking dish, and we're going to form our meatloaf. So now that we're all done mixing, we're gonna go ahead and get our baking dish together and we're gonna form our meatloaf. Now, I have seen people butter grease their pan. Please don't, it makes enough grease on its own and we don't wanna add more to it. So go ahead and form your meatloaf. And as you can see, I was using gloves, but I had to take them off, I had to get in there, okay? <laughs> and then just form it however you like. This is how I like to have mine. Next up, we're gonna make our glaze, which happens to be the most important part of meatloaf because otherwise you're just eating a lump of ground beef, okay? <laughs> so I like mine a little bit on the sweeter side, so does my family. So I add some ketchup, red wine vinegar, maple syrup and brown sugar, and I go ahead and mix it to taste. But if you wanna curve some of that sweetness, you can also add some mustard. Once you got your glaze right where you want it, <laughs> go ahead and pull your meatloaf back out and then we are gonna make sure that the top of this meatloaf is completely covered in all of that glaze. Now I like to make a little extra because we can never have too much glaze and we like to use the extra at the end. But of course, like I said, just make sure this is completely covered on the top. You're gonna cover it with some foil and pop it in the oven on 350 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes. And when she's done, she's going to look like this. <laughs> yes. Now, please do not attempt to cut into this right away. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then I paired this with some mashed potatoes and some southern green beans with potatoes. And that recipe is coming up in these 25 days of cookings as well. So I hope y'all enjoy it because I always do. All of my links to my recipes and cookbooks are going to be listed below. And until next time, bye y'all.